kindergarten, I had long braids. Then I went to first grade, I still had long braids. And then we had like ink wells in the, in the desk. And one of the sweet children <laughs> took, took my hair and stuck my hair in the ink wells. So that was not very pleasant. I love my owl lamp. And my, my daughter hates it, but I love it. That's all I can say. Decide what they want. The, those are real owl feathers, by the way. I'm Ann Pearl Gould. I, I'm 88 years old. I will be 89 in August. Both my parents were deaf. And when I, I'm an only child, so I was the one who had to take care of them because they couldn't hear. They didn't hear the doorbell, they didn't hear anything. But they had a light that would light up in the house. And that light uh, indicated that the doorbell rang. And I grew up very fast, very, very fast. And my aunt Esther was, was really my surrogate mother and really my mother in a lot of ways. She was the person who told me what to do and how to do it. You know, I, ne I never got to do some things that most people would have done and would have been grateful to do. God forbid something would happen. Esther was the one that was the pariah, and Elsie was a fun aunt. Elsie was a treasure. She was an absolute treasure. I lived with her when I first got married, and then she lived with me after that. And never had one single argument with her. Never. Never, never. And I'm not easy to get along with. I can be very tough, but not with Elsie. My father had a situation where he didn't talk well, so he had to write. And he had a boss that was a very mean boss. And my dad sent me to the owner. He, he scared me. I think it was something around six, seven years old, eight years old, something like that. And he said to me, you know, we have a big mouth for a little girl. So I said, yes, I have a big mouth for a little girl because I have to talk for two people. I was very young when I went to college. I was 16 when I went to college because they had a program in school where you get, they had rapid advanced classes. The guys liked me, I was little, I was tiny, they wanted to take care of me, and they did. I went to NYU. When I went to NYU, then I went to Columbia. When I went to Columbia, I taught deaf children. When I taught deaf children, I had the worst class in Britain in school. But in the end, I had the best classes in the school, and they were training me to talk for the school and, and give lectures and things like that. I have three wonderful grandkids. Absolutely marvelous. They're great kids. They're the most... I, I love them dearly. I love them so much, I can't tell you how much. They're, they're the special, special ingredient in my life. And they keep me going. And they influence me in the arts. All of a sudden, I became an artist. I, I don't know how to draw, but I draw. And I can't stop. I have to keep on going. I don't know why, but there's something in me that makes me do it. And I keep on doing I keep, if I don't create something, I'm, I'm not doing anything. I have to create, constantly creating, constantly. My mind is always, always working on something to do. I don't feel old at all. Not at all. I feel everybody else is old and I'm young. I can't walk, I can't do this, I can't do that but I feel young.